Filler alert, filler alert. What's up, YouTube? Boom. Back at you one more time with another little quick uh, informational video. Uh, I get a lot of people coming to my channel, and some people ask, what is the difference between a Mercury Marauder and a Crown Victoria? The biggest differences are right here. Uh, this comes off of the uh, 2004 Aviator, but the Marauders have them, Mach 1s, Cobras, they have them. Um, there are other variations. This is a what you would call a third gen pre-Coyote head. This right here is a second gen PI head. There's a non-PI head. Both have different revisions. Uh, I will say any of you Crown Vic guys wanting to do a swap, get this casting. DB. You want DB. A lot of people like the blue paint strip head, but those are a little thinner in the coolant castings. But hey, you know, to each his own if you want those or not. I'd rather have these and do the cooling temperature head mod and another thing for any crown big guys any crown big guys with a 2005 and up this is why right here i say make sure to get an aviator head or make sure the cobra head you're getting has that fitting right there because that's going to make your life definitely in a 2006 i should say i should make 2006 these heads are going to make your swap and your wire harness a whole lot easier because this is the head cooling temperature sensor which is on this head right here you need that so you'll be able to simply pull the harness and then obviously this sensor right here and this will basically bolt up with your uh harness which will allow you to run these heads and the computer is able to monitor the cylinder head temperature, you know, for these heads. Um, this right here, like I say, the difference, you have two valves, each cylinder, two valves intake, two valves exhaust. So you have a four valve uh, situation uh, valves right there. This is the cam journal side. As you can see, the Marauder it has a place for the intake and then the exhaust. Basically, you have double the valve springs, double the retainers, double the rockers, double the hydraulic lifters versus over here. You just have 16. That's why they call this 16 valves. You know, you got eight per head. This is 32 valves. You get the point. So, um, these are the ports and everything. And this is basically just a quick overview of the what's the difference between a Mercury Marauder and a Crown Vic. This is another gem. I literally slept with this when I slept. I literally had this in my bed almost ever since I when I first got it. Um, this right here is rare. They did not make that many of these intakes. Unlike the uh, Mustang, which you can get the, what, the 99 to 01s have this similar, but this situation is basically flipped around and facing the passenger side. So these right here, basically, how many ever Marauders they made, that's where it stopped. Ford didn't make any extras. There was no recall, so I don't think there was no need for them to make any. The aftermarket doesn't make any. Um, there are Sullivan and um, maybe a few other sheet metal intakes you can use, but this right here is a gem. And I tell you what, I was just on eBay one day looking around. And all of a sudden, I saw her. 
I mean, this is an official intake for anybody else, or well, I should say upper. I can use the, I'm going to get a 2002 or three lower manifold to go on with this. Um, I'm going to block off the uh, idle air control and depending on how I feel about the EGR, I may or may not delete it. I'm gonna cut these two uh, thingies off. I'm not sure what they're for, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna hook a uh, catch can up to this. This is uh, something with, I forgot what that one goes for. The brake boosters on the other side. And uh, this one goes to the fuel rail pressure sensor. So this is basically what it looks like. It's still dirty. And I should say I'm going to use a three valve 62 millimeter throttle body and kind of pour it open a little bit and have that throttle body fitted on here to be able to wire up to my harness. So um, I just wanted, like, if you crown big guys open the hood up and look in the crown big, you can obviously tell it doesn't have a all aluminum intake unlike these. So that is the primary differences, the heads, intake. Obviously, you can look in the crown big, and this is the crown big head. So that is the difference between the two. Um, and I, I just cannot wait to get this swap right here underway. Right now, we're focusing on the two valve swap. We're still putting together parts for this. And um, like I say, see you soon with the update on the two valve. So I'll just give you some information, the difference between Crown Vicks and Mercury Marauders.